You ever wonder why things go wrong in your life? Could it be that life is giving you a wake-up call? On this channel we cover a variety of topics. We talk about mental toughness and resilience. We also talk about self-protection and demonstrate techniques that will help you protect yourself as well as other subjects like situational awareness, escape criminal capture, and even fitness and book reviews. So if you would, please click on the top secret icon in the lower right hand corner of your screen and that will get you subscribed to all the practical and tactical knowledge to make your life safer and more efficient. So now wake up calls. Our, our problems in life oft times come as a direct result of things in our lives that are wrong and unfortunately this is hard to admit and hard for our ego to admit that the things that are wrong are probably our fault so when we're given a wake-up call in our life we tend to want to ignore it or put the blame on something or someone else instead of hearing that wake-up call when we have a desire to perhaps hit the snooze button so that the wake-up call just goes away as it were often the adversities come and the hardships come they happen because something in our life is totally unsat it's not proper what we're doing or how we're living and therefore our problems come about as a direct result from that and sometimes we just need a challenge to overcome to bring out the greatness in ourselves but wake-up calls are a call for change it's time to change something about yourself or your life or your mindset that is hindering you from from living a as it were good life they don't just happen they they come as a direct result of either our actions and our failures or sent by God to to give us a wake-up call to tell us to change our life so wake-up calls aren't meant to be ignored they're meant to be taken heed to we have to answer that call we have to hence wake up because that is the whole purpose of a wake-up call to wake up the things wrong in our lives and as it were get out of bed and get to work to fix the things in our lives and to do, start doing the right things and often that means having a more disciplined life as well as perhaps turning away from a lifestyle that is inappropriate and turning toward God I think all too often we like to go through life pretending that everything is fine and okay and a wake-up call is a way for us to be shocked from our complacency in the way we're living and what we're doing and it causes us to realize that there are many things that need to be changed don't hit the snooze button on a wake-up call don't let it go directly to voicemail so that you can ignore it because they aren't to be ignored these things could be as simple as living a more disciplined life whether it be how we spend our money or how we earn our money it could be living a more disciplined life physically by what we eat or don't eat as well as the exercise that we get and indeed there's a direct connection between a disciplined exercise regimen and of morality and mental toughness and resilience another issue that may come arise in our lives is we're doing something that is totally unset it's totally against <clears throat> the way things ought to be it's perhaps immoral and we have to learn to get back on the path to God as it were that we can learn not only forgiveness but also the ability to have that discipline and drive to fix what is broken in our lives 
Second chances are possible with God, but we have to be able to heed the wake-up call that he sends into our life. We have to be able to respond properly by tr trying to fix what is broken in our life or what we have broken in our lives, as well as strive for him and trust in him more instead of ourselves. Wake-up calls are a hard thing to hear. But will we hear them?